We are here today in uh, lovely Hugo, Minnesota, just north of the Twin Cities, to learn all about the Safe Clip with Bill Ramberg. Bill, welcome to the Horse Show. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Dad and I have been in the horse industry for a long time, and we have understood how horses think. Horses are a flight animal. When they get scared, their natural instinct is to get out of dodge. And if they can't do that, then they panic. And when they panic, they lose their mind. Ever since I was young, working with young horses in the round pen, I wouldn't tie them solid. I would simply take that lead rope and weave it through the bars of the stall. And as I'm doing my grooming work, picking up his feet, doing all that stuff that he needs to get used to, if he had got scared, he'd just sit back a little bit and the rope would slide through the bars. That's okay, we just readjust the rope and keep on continuing doing what we're doing and never got a horse hurt. I always got through to him uh, what I was after. Uh, my horses remain calm, and uh, so we took that principle and that idea and we put it into, into a tool that's portable. So the idea, as I understand it, is, is the horse starts to sort of panic a little bit, and then when he's able, when he realizes he isn't trapped, something changes in his brain. Absolutely, that... yep. Uh, you know, when horses feel trapped, uh, their natural reaction is to panic. Yeah. Yeah. I've had a little bit of experience along these lines and it was not pretty. In fact, it was very scary when the snap breaks on a lead rope, which yeah. is usually the weak part. Right. If you happen to be nearby, you are in danger because that like, is a projectile and it's moving very fast. It's like a bullet. It is like a bullet. It put a hole about the size of a quarter in the side of my barn one time when I, I had a snap break. Yep. Another time on a different horse, I had a, her pull back. She broke the snap and it hit her right in the chest, took a chunk of meat out of her, yeah. drew blood. Yeah. It's dangerous for the horse. It's dangerous for the human. Absolutely. If they get in their mind that they need to pull back, if they get that panic. So you've got this idea of controlled slippage. And this is the device that makes that possible. This part up here allows you to hang it on just about anything. Any good solid fixed object. Yeah, it's totally mobile. It, it's pretty lightweight. What is this made out of? Injection aluminum. They've been tested to 1,650 pounds, so they are made for horses. Okay, okay. We turn it around, you'll notice that it's made in the USA. Absolutely. Yeah. You sound like you're committed to that idea. I 100% committed. Everything that our company makes is made in the USA. Eh, good for you. And uh, we will see how this works in just a moment. But I do have a question for you. Old timer solution for the horse that pulls back <laughs> was simply to attach a little piece of inner tube. Why doesn't that work as well? Rick, I have heard so many cowboy tricks tie them up with a really heavy rope to an oak tree and don't let them break it. Well, they're, they're right, but you can get a horse hurt pretty bad by doing that. The bungee or the inner tube, it's a, it's a great old fashioned way to have some uh, relief, but it's the timing of the release. When that horse pulls back on a bungee or an inner tube, they apply a lot of pressure to themselves. Now that horse has to come all the way back forward to find that relief. Oh. Whereas if they pull that rope through that drag on the clip, the second they lean forward, it's an immediate reward for doing the correct thing. Yeah, yeah. The only rule that you have to know is if I fold my lead rope in half, if I have a difficult time putting it through that bottom hole, your rope is either too big or too stiff. So all lead ropes are not the same in that respect. That's right. Okay. Fold it in half, put it through the bottom, and then over the top. All right. Go get my horse, clip them up to the side of the trailer, wash stall, wherever I do my work. When the rope's up on top, I can change the length of my rope without tying and untying. When I'm happy with the length, I put it in the middle, and now my horse is safely tied. Now there's more of a drag now with it in that middle. It pulls through harder. It's an adjustable drag. Okay. So if I'm inside on slippery concrete floors, I like a little softer drag for a cross tie, young horse and a washed off for the first time. I like a softer drag. When I go outside on green grass at a horse show or a trail ride, there's a lot of exciting things going on. I'm going to turn that drag up. I don't want my horse to feel like he can just inch the rope out and go eat the grass at his feet. So I can turn that drag up just by okay. tightening that screw. I see. It makes it much more difficult for that horse to simply drop that rope through the clip. It still comes through. Yep. If something happens and that horse gets scared, he'll still feel that smooth, steady relief of pressure, 
and not panic. So he could eventually pull that all the way out. He sure could. And in some situations, I would want that to happen, such as a cross tie or a wash stall. I don't want to lock my horse up on a concrete floor where he's going to scramble his feet, fall down, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But outside where there's good footing, I can use a quick release stop knot. Okay. I just take my lead rope and I fold it around, make a loop, bring the end of the lead rope through that loop, and that's a quick release knot. So he'll run into, if he pulls it all the way through, he'll run into that and that won't allow him to go any farther. But because it's quick release, I guess, boom, yeah. you could do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you a challenge here. Suppose okay. you wanted to tie her up somewhere along here. How would sure. you do that? We don't always have a place available to clip it to. So what we came up with is something called a tether ring. This is made out of a non-stretch military rope. There's 2,000 pounds worth of strength to that tool. Incredibly strong for the size rope that you're looking wow. at. Yeah. You put this around a good solid fixed object. Just put the ring through and then through the hole again. Now I've got a portable way to use the clip. There's the 10 inch tether ring and there's a 20 inch tether ring. Okay. The 20 inch will fit around a four by four post, a two by six board. I can show up to any barn and make a very safe set of ties without drilling any holes or using any tools. Mm -hmm. Again, put it around a good solid fixed object, bring the ring down. At a campground, there's the high lines at state parks and sure. things. They should be at least seven feet off the ground to be a good high line. Well, a lot of people have a difficult time reaching it, and this will bring it down to more of a reachable level for people to tie their horse to or clip their horse to.